Well, hello again for U.S. Chess. This is Steve Lopez, back again with another look at ChessBase 11, the chess database software. We talked before about two different databases that come with ChessBase 11, depending on which package you purchase. Big Database contains no annotations. Mega Database has about 50,000 annotated games. That's what we're going to talk about today is looking for annotations within ChessBase. If you right-click on the Mega Database uh, icon and click Search, you get the search mask. We've already looked at the game data tab. We'll look at the annotation tab right now. There's all kinds of annotation forms in chess-based databases. Variations is one of them. These check boxes down here allow you to search for various chess-based annotation forms. Variations, any text, click in that box. Any game that has any written text in the notes will come up. Any symbols, uh, chess-based does use informant symbology, the basic standard uh, international language of chess. Chess base does use those symbols, so games with any symbols will come up if you check this. There are certain spe chess base specific uh, annotation forms that can be searched as well. You can color moves by using the critical opening, middle game, and end game position uh, toggles in, when you're annotating a game. Clicking these boxes will bring those up, any games that have those particular annotation forms. There's two annotation forms that provide a little pop-up chessboard that pops up on the screen and shows you the pawn structure, basically with all the pieces and kings removed, or the piece path, where a particular piece, whatever the last piece moved, it will show you how it moved around the board. It will give you a little chessboard with a picture of the piece and arrow showing all of its moves in that game. You can search for those annotations here as well. Multimedia, any game that has uh, video commentary, audio commentary, or still pictures in the notes will come up as well. Chessbase allows one to create timed training questions. Clicking training will bring up any games that have these training questions in them. Colors, Chessbase allows you to make colored arrows on the board as well as color some squares for emphasis. Those will come up as well. You can put Chess 960 games into Chessbase and store them in a database. All of Chess 960 positions, all the starting positions, are numbered. There are 960 of them. That's how it gets its name. If you want to look for a particular Chess 960 position, just click Position and type the number in here, and it'll pull up any games in the database that start from that position. Up here is where it gets a little bit more complicated. You can type things in a text box and pull up all games in which a specific word or phrase appear. For example, Opposite. Click OK, do a search, and a bunch of games do come up. And when you click on a game, it'll jump you to a move, and you scroll down, and uh, you'll see the word opposite right here. Same here, click on another game. Scroll down, here's the word opposite, opposite colored bishops. So it'll do searches within the text of the game score. If you're talking about header searches, where you're looking for player names or names of tournaments, you would use the regular game data part of the search mask for that, where you go here to game data. That's where you would do that search. Annotations just looks within the game score for particular words, particular phrases. A really neat trick that you can use, by the way, you click in the text box, hit the space bar, click OK, and it will pull up games that have a lot of text in them. Um, it does not make any kind of judgment as to what that text consists of. It may be a lot of notes, it may be a lot of comments to a game, it may just be games that have a lot of game citations in them where it talks about uh, you know, like here where it shows where the players, how much time they used for the game and as you scroll back up there's a lot of citations where, it's where the notes came from. So it just depends on the contents of the game but what it's looking for is a whole lot of text. Here's where some uh, uh, symbolic notation was put in in text form. So that's what it does. It goes through the game and it pulls up games that have a whole lot of text in them and you can uh, find them just by hitting the space bar. Right click, go back to search, reset once again. You can also type in symbolic notation into the symbols box. You need to know the keyboard shortcuts for the different informant symbols. Those are in the help files, so I'm not going to go through the whole thing here and show you all of them. There's there's dozens of them. But, for example, one of the ones I know is Control-3, which gives you the unclear notation, the little infinity symbol for unclear. Click OK, 
and you get all the games in which that notation appears. Click on the game, come over here, sure enough, after rook b8 it's unclear. Click here, after king d5 it's unclear. That's what Goran said anyway. So that's a way you can look for symbols within a game. Something we'll get to later on is how to delete games from a chess-based database. Deleting games is a two-step process. First you have to mark them for deletion, then you actually physically rip them out. If you've only done that first step where you've marked games for deletion, if you click this deleted checkbox and click OK, it will go in. Now I don't have any, I'm not going to click because I don't have any deleted games in my database. But if you have any games marked for deletion, click deleted, click OK, and it'll pull up all the games that have been marked to be deleted. It's a good way to double check uh, to make sure that what you want to delete is actually something you want gone, that you haven't accidentally marked a game that you'd rather keep. That's basically what you can do with the annotation tab. There's some other tweaks and toggles to it. You can take a look in the help files and find all the specifics. But it's very, very simple. You just look for different annotation forms as well as text within the notation of the database. Good way to find games. And again, a neat little trick I'll show you once again is just hit the space bar in one of the text boxes, click OK, and it'll just pull up games in a database that have a lot of text in them. So that's basically how you use this. Uh, very simple, just a way to search for annotations within the games in your chess-based database. Remember, once again, the big database does not contain annotations. So generally, you're not going to find much using annotation searches in that database. But the mega database does contain about 50,000 annotated games, and you can search for specific annotations in the search mask using the fields under the annotation tab. Till next time for U.S. Chess, I'm Steve Lopez. Thanks for watching.